Okay. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just don't introduce the episode number in, in the front of it. Okay. Because now I don't remember which one it is. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I don't know how to count. One time there was a kid who was like, I know how to count from one to thirty, and I said, Oh, that's so cool. And he went, One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. I don't have time for this. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Did he really say that? Yes. Wow, what a smart little kid. Uh, well, not that smart. I was busy. Well. Are you going to play? <laughs> Come yeah. on. <laughs> We're back. We've right. been back. Ooh, the lentil seafloor. Are we going to be like snorkeling? Probably. Um, do you remember the um, unisex lentils that I found that one time? Unisex lentils? Yeah, and I was like, thank goodness I didn't have to eat the lady lentils. What does that mean? I don't know. That they're unisex. I didn't know lentils could be... I didn't either. A gender? Yeah. I've never been snorkeling. I know. Remember when you didn't want to go? But can I tell you something? It doesn't make sense to me. Why not? Because snorkeling... Unless I'm not, unless I'm not thinking of it correctly, but snorkeling has that little tube that only extends like a foot above your head. How do you go, how do you go deeper? Well, you can hold your breath for a little bit. But then doesn't water get in that tube? Yeah, but then you, you, you know, come up for air and drain it out. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, what is going on? That's me and you. 100%. And that's you running away. <laughs> oh my god, look at all these Sharpedo. I can't believe you thought that Sharpedo was half, like didn't have a full body. Where's or its had tail? A full body. Where's its tail? It doesn't have a tail. That's the whole point of Sharpedo. It's a torpedo shark. I mean, now that you've explained it to me, it makes sense. Thank you. You know, one time, not one time, but a lot of the times I think about, do bugs have brains? Do bugs have brains? Insects have tiny brains inside their heads. They also have little brains known as ganglia spread across their bodies. The insects can see, smell, and sense things quicker than us. Their brains help them feed and sense danger faster, which makes them incredibly hard to kill sometimes. What? So they do have little brains inside their heads. That is very astonishing news. Oh look, he's sleeping. No, he looks dead. Peach. No, fish, fish, um. Yeah, they sleep. Do they? Yeah, of How course. How do you know that? Well, everything sleeps. Are you sure? I don't know. I thought goldfish didn't have brains. No, fish have, are very complex creatures. Yeah, but goldfish don't. Don't you remember Sea Spiracy? Yes. This reminds me of that one game that you play. The scuba diving game. Oh, Subnautica. Yeah. I love that game. I'm still not done with it, though. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to get off of this alien planet. Yeah? Why aren't you off of it yet? Because it's really hard. In and, what way? And time consuming. I have to go find all this different material to build this, like, escape rocket. But my question is, if you landed on an alien planet, how would you know how to build a rocket? Because it's the future. You know, this game, I think, well, this is how I think of it as. I think it's very comparable to the first one. And the first one I really liked but it's because I was young. Yeah, we were like 10. I really liked it and I think this I think this copied it and emu kind of like emulated it in a good in a good One. way. Yeah. But I just think it's there's a lot of missed opportunities here. Like what? Well, like what if it was more of an open world thing? How though? Well, it's as open as you're going to get it unless you, you think take you're going to off rails. Who's gonna drive it? You don't drive and walk. Should we end it there for that for that little episode? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good.
I think it was nice. We'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>